So lately on the program, we've been talking a lot about the necessity of masks because I have become very concerned about the fact that this, for whatever reason, has become a political issue because... Of course it has. To where if you wear a mask or don't wear a mask, you're making a political statement. If you wear a mask, you're a libtard who's being duped by the deep state. Or if you don't wear a mask, you're a MAGA chud. And I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. They're nuts. So we're going to talk about this anti-mask hysteria because I do find it fascinating uh, given that we see a new viral video of a Karen rebelling against a mask requirement pop up every day. But this really is something that should concern all of us because we are fighting a very contagious and deadly pandemic but the first example that i want to show you of anti-mask hysteria comes from a costco karen i think we're on costco karen number eight by now where she responds in a very american way to uh being asked to put on a mask to shop at costco all That is a grown ass woman sitting on the floor of a Costco throwing a temper tantrum like a toddler because she was asked to put on a mask. Now, I wish I could say that that's like the worst example of rebellion against masks that we've seen, but this next video of a Karen in a Target is even worse because she literally is so anti-mask that just the fact that Target had a display of masks that they were selling, well, that's a big enough political statement that she found it personally offensive to her. So she decided to uh, take it down and destroy it, quite literally. I'm not playing your This is over. This is all over. This is 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 over. I am willing to admit that there's probably a sizable portion of the American population who isn't explicitly political in their aversion to masks, right? They're probably apolitical and they just don't want to wear masks because they think it's uncomfortable and they don't have one and they're too lazy to get one. I don't know. But most of the anti-mask vitriol is, in fact, coming from the MAGA chud crowd. And I'm not just generalizing and saying, oh, well, that lady was acting that way because she was a Trump supporter. She literally admitted that she's a Trump supporter and not just any MAGA chud, but a level 100 mega chud who is deep into QAnon conspiracy theories. Did everything that Donald Trump was elected to do. You can read about it on Twitter. You can read about it in the news. All of the all of the deep state politicians, all of that stuff has happened. It's done. Okay. So I was hired to be the, the QAnon so spokesperson. Melissa, well, so I'm going to have you spin around and just put your phone down. What? First, okay. You need you put your phone down. Oh my God. So that's what we're dealing with. These are the people who are driving the anti-mask hysteria in America. And I'm not going to try to, you know, decode her stupidity that we saw there because it's it's useless. Basically, they are subscribing to this vague, almost abstract idea that if they wear a mask, then they are agreeing to give up their liberty. My body, my choice, apparently. Because if the government requires that you do something, well, then that by definition is against freedom. So they're not allowed to require us to wear seatbelts. They're not allowed to uh, tell us to wear clothing in public. So if you want to hang dong in Walmart, that's just freedom. America, yeah. yeah, it's stupidity. This is a pandemic. Just put on a mask. Nobody likes wearing a mask. It's uncomfortable. It's hot. And if you have glasses, then they fog up your glasses. But it's a pandemic. If you want to be in public, if you want to reopen the economy, then they're essential. Otherwise, we can go back to self-quarantine again. I mean, you can't have it both ways. The people who are saying open up the economy are the same people who are saying, I don't want to wear masks. Well, you don't get to have your cake and eat it too. It's a virus. It doesn't care about your political predispositions. It's a virus that is absolutely ravaging our country. We lost 130,000 Americans because we just pretended like it's not a thing. So you can't just not wear a mask. And it's not just that people individually are rebelling against masks. Now the anti-mask discourse is 
evolving or devolving, I should say, to where it's now much more nefarious. It's not just, you know, like you're part of counterculture and you're edgy to wa not want to wear a mask. Now, MAGA chuds are shaming people who choose to wear a mask. Now, someone who I thought they loved, Judge Jeanine Pirro on Fox News, America's Karen, actually got a lot of backlash because she posted a photograph of herself wearing a mask in public. Now, even though not all of the responses to this were bad, there were so many dumb fucks who chose to shame her for wearing a mask that this level of political discourse, this level of vitriol, is honestly just, it's, it's shocking, even for Fox News' audience. So one person responded to her picture saying, take it off, judge, don't be a sheep, you're better than that. Another person said, why? You look ridiculous. You're outside for fuck's sake. Another person said, I'm usually with you, but on this, no. You're being duped. The mask is political. Has nothing to do with health. This one got a thousand likes, by the way. Uh, another person said, come on, judge. Get over the scam already. I would be more impressed with no mask. Hashtag fake. Hashtag plandemic. This person says, take it off, please. You are inhaling your own CO2 at 8,000 ppm within a few minutes. That is toxic. It creates an acidic environment in your body within which errant cell reproduction thrives equals viruses, cancer, fungal, and bacterial infection. Pneumothorax is also possible. Now, this person sounds like an expert based on all of the words he was using. Very big words here. Bigly. Um, I, I hope that he gets this information to surgeons who have to wear masks every single day. But maybe I'm just not privy to the number of surgeons dropping dead because of masks. Another person says, um, another example of Fox News assimilating into the MSM. What a disgrace. Yeah, as if they weren't already mainstream media. No masks. Sad you've fallen for this BS. Don't. Just don't. I cannot believe you are wearing their muzzle. I guess you are all talk on your show. I am so disappointed in you. And finally, this makes me sad, Janine. Fox is dead. When I see this, I'm like pre-morning the death of humanity, because if we can't do something as simple as wear a mask during a pandemic, how are we going to be able to respond intelligently to bigger crises like climate change? What if there was like an asteroid that was coming to Earth and we had like a year to uh, take action? I feel like I'm reciting the plot of Deep Impact or something. But I mean, what if that were the case? Would there be anti- uh, asteroid deniers. I mean, we, we just, we can't make it with this level of delusion. And there's a lot more examples of that, that Travis Gettys of Raw Story cataloged. But I mean, at this point, the issue is truly devolving. And it's so serious to them. Like, they take this so seriously that one MAGA chud in Pennsylvania that status coups Jordan Sheridan interviewed literally equated wearing masks, the mandate to wear masks, with the Holocaust. I wish I were kidding, but this is something that happened. I think it's unconstitutional to even mandate anybody wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. That'd be like me asking you to put a yellow star on if you were Jewish. Mm -hmm. It's not right. right. So if do you I don't think, wanna, do you I think don't you wear a mask? I mean, that's my constitutional right. right. Even if it endangers other people? I mean, if you're afraid of getting it, wear a mask. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of getting it. No, but I'm saying even if like if you were around other people, you're not wearing it. It might be your constitutional right, but even if you could jeopardize others, if you have it without knowing it. It'd be like putting a fence up and saying, well, we're trying to stop mosquitoes with a chain link fence. Mm. I mean, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's preventing anything. It'd be like me asking you to put a yellow star on if you were Jewish. Oh my God, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. Look. He literally said mandating that people wear masks is like telling you to put on a yellow star if you're Jewish. I don't have the energy. I don't have the patience for this. All I know is it needs to stop. This is not acceptable. We are in a pandemic. I mean, for fuck's sake, people. Now, because most of this type of rhetoric is coming from MAGA chuds, the only thing that can actually stop them from believing this is if the chief chud himself actually comes out and says masks 
are okay. Not only that, I denounce people who are against masks. He has to set an example and wear masks in public. Now, previously, he refused to be filmed or photographed wearing a mask, although he did reluctantly wear one when he toured a Ford plant, but he's still not doing enough. I mean, you can actually take policy action here. You can sign an executive order that requires people uh, in federal buildings to wear masks. They're doing this now in federal courts, I believe. But you have to actually do something, even if it's small, but you have to make a statement, a policy statement, where you encourage people to wear masks and you unequivocally reject the people who are speaking out against masks because you're president, right? So the buck stops with you. These are people who basically worship you. You have to do better. Send a message to your conspiratorial supporters, make them wear masks, but he's not doing that. And as CNN reports, as coronavirus cases surge and governors begin agitating for a national mandate on wearing masks, President Donald Trump is showing few signs he'll budge on an issue that has come to epitomize a national pandemic response rooted in denial and which now threatens his political future. Even most elected Republicans now openly advocate for wearing masks and have been pictured with their noses and mouths covered in part to set an example for the country. But Trump still refuses to wear a mask in public, and most guests at his two July 4th celebrations at Mount Rushmore and on the White House South Lawn were barefaced. So there's that. And when it comes to the rhetoric that he's using, he's not necessarily like explicitly anti-mask, but what he's saying is not enough. I'm all for masks. I think masks are good. I would wear, if I were in a group of people and I was close. You would wear one. Oh, I would, I would, oh, I have. I mean, people have seen me wearing one. If I'm in a group of people where we're not, you know, 10 feet away, and but usually I'm not in that position, and everyone's tested. Because I'm the president, they get tested before they see me. But if I were in a tight situation with people, I would absolutely. Do you think the public will see that at some point? I mean, I'd have no problem. Actually, I, I had a mask on. I sort of liked the way I looked. Okay, I thought it was okay. It was a dark black mask and I thought it looked okay. It looked like the Lone Ranger. That's a start. We're, um, you know, trending in the correct direction, but that's not going far enough. You're not saying enough. You need to be unequivocal. You need to be clear and decisive. You need to say, not only should everyone wear a mask, but people who do not wear a mask are putting all of us in danger. And if you care about me getting reelected, then we have to beat this virus before November. So let's all make sure that we wear a mask and we stop the spread of COVID-19 before we end up allowing Sleepy Joe Biden to win. Hell, if he chose to sell MAGA masks, that'd be fine, as long as you're encouraging people to wear it. Even if he came up with some other alternative conspiracy theory that wearing a mask protects people from chemtrails to kind of like reverse engineer conspiracy theory against them. I don't even care at this point. Like, that's how serious the situation is. You know, the ends justify the means, so long as later on he says that chemtrails, that's not a real conspiracy. But I mean, like, we, we just have to, we have to take action to make sure that these people are putting on masks because these people are not taking it seriously and as a result, putting all of us at risk. So it's one thing to have a president that has bungled the response and is just basically pretending like it's not a thing, but it's another thing to have his supporters actually not just refuse to wear masks, but now go so far as to share people who choose to do the logical thing in wearing a mask during a pandemic so it has to stop um and uh, it doesn't seem like it will soon hopefully it gets better but i mean the buck stops with trump he's the leader they worship him they would you know inhale his farts if he sold it in bottles so he's got to act he can stop this by controlling his conspiratorial loony maga chud supporters but will he do that sufficiently i don't know i mean he he's not anti-mask based on what he's saying now, but unless he's unequivocal about it, I don't think much is going to change, honestly.